we are here at another week. We are here at another week. And I have been missing my friend. I wonder what friend you guys could think I'm talking about. Louie. Louie. I wonder what Louie's been up to. Here I am. Oh, Louie. Behold, it is I. It Louis. is Louie. Hi. Hi, Hi Louie. How's it going, guys? Hi, I missed you. As you can tell. I Oh, I missed you too. Oh, we've missed we you yeah. so bad, Louie. We missed you too. What's going on, guys? Oh, you know. <gasps> How's your mother? Lucy, that is the coolest hat I have ever seen on your head. It is not where, a hat. Where do I get one? <laughs> That's the coolest it's, hat I've it's ever seen. It's Lucy's noodle hair. It's Lucy's noodle hair. Louie. Lucy's what? having a test done, so she's wearing this really cool headgear. What kind of test? Like math or spelling? No. Or, oh. It's uh, noodle hair. Noodle hair. Yes, oh. to tell, and it helps them tell what's going on inside Lucy's head. So I'm sorry, Louie. I don't think you'll be able to get a hat like that, not uh, even for Halloween. Darn. I know. That's so cool, Lucy. You look awesome. But, Louie, you're here at a really cool time. Am I? We are learning about what it means to be baptized. I want to ask you, has any of you ever taken a bath at church? <gasps> Is that why they have the bathtub at church? That's why they have the bathtub at church? Yes, Louie. I just thought that's where Pastor Dan and Pastor Jason took baths. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That I would be they were so, so silly. Clean. They smell so good all the time. And you thought they were taking baths at yes. the church? That, well, why else would you have a bathtub at a church? That's so Duh. silly, Louie. Do you know when you are baptized, you choose to tell everybody in the church that you want to follow Jesus forever. Oh. And it's that commitment. And you go under the water to wash away your sins and choose to follow Christ from that moment on. Wow. That's why there's a bathtub oh, at church. It all it's makes not sense for now. the Sunday school swim team. Wow. Although that would be a fun idea. That would be cool. Yeah, maybe not. I don't think we could do that. <laughs> we could make it happen. Oh, no. <laughs> Louie, we cannot. You are so crazy. Louie. You crazy. So, we are you going crazy, to tell Louis. our... Yeah, he's pretty silly, you isn't he? Crazy. You are We've missed you so bad, Louie. I missed Louis. you, too. So, what's been new with you? Uh, How's your mother? How's your mom? My mom is fine. How's your dad? Uh, Well, my dad's okay, too. Have you eaten any um Cheese. new cheeses? Um, I had a I really eat. nice cheese that was made with pickles and chili peppers, and my breath smelled great. Oh, Louie! Louie, maybe you're going to need to take a bath at church. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, maybe we should all think about being baptized. So, maybe how about I'm, we go and listen to our story? Maybe I have pickled cheese. No, that's weird. Maybe we should go and listen to our story about the time when Jesus was baptized. I can't even take a bath. That sounds great. For yeah, Lucy for can't days. take a bath for a couple oh, more days. No. So it might get pretty Louis. smelly over here. But let's go Louis. listen to our story. Come on, guys. Okay, my friends. We just had a good time being silly with Louie. He's so silly. But now we are going to learn about our story about Jesus and John the Baptist. And when John the Baptist baptizes Jesus, and the really incredible thing that happens. Let's go. All right, my friends. We're going to hear the story called The Beloved Son, the story about when Jesus was baptized. Read. Before God sends his special savior, said the prophet Malachi, a messenger will come to prepare the way for him. So John came before Jesus preaching by the Jordan River. Remember when we heard about the Christmas story and John the Baptist was Jesus's cousin and he was born before Jesus and he was sent to prepare the way for Jesus's coming? Prepare the way for the Lord, John said. God is sending someone very special to his people. Change your ways. Turn from your bad things you have done. Be baptized. So he's preparing the way for Jesus' coming. 
So that's what people did. Are you the promised one? They asked. No, said John. I am not worthy to even carry his sandals. He will do amazing things, you see. She got baptized. Jesus came to John to be baptized. When John saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. I want you to baptize me, Jesus said. No, John replied. I need to be baptized by you. Trust me, said Jesus. This is the right thing to do. So John baptized Jesus. God's spirit came down on Jesus like a dove. This is my son, God said. I love him. He pleases me very much. After he was baptized, the spirit came down upon Jesus and that voice came from the heavens. This is my son with whom I'm well pleased. While John was baptizing him, God's spirit came down on his son, Jesus, like a dove. We did it. So what does it mean to be baptized? Being baptized is an outward expression of an inward commitment to God. So if you've committed your life to God, you want to live for him forever and you want the whole world to know. You go and you get baptized. You wash your sins away. And you choose to follow God. And you choose to seek him and follow him for all the days of your life. And it's a way to let everybody know of your commitment to him. And it's a pretty cool thing to be done. When you've thought about it and prayed about it. And you trust God. And then you can do that. And let everyone know how much you love God and how you want to live your life for him. So I've got a fun little craft for us to do. At the end of our story, remember the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus like a dove. So we are going to make some doves. Let's go. So for this craft, all you will need is something to draw with or write with, marker, crayons, pencils, piece of paper, and your hand. So. You're going to start by placing your hand on a piece of paper. I've got my friend Milo here. Say hello, Milo, to your Hi. friends. Who's going to help me with this? You're going to either try to trace your own hand or ask a grown-up for help to trace your hand. You're going to trace your hand around your fingers. Stay very still, Milo. Trace your hand around your fingers, around your thumb. And you're going to just stop right before you close your hand. See? Now we're going to connect. We're going to draw a tail on our dove. So the tail can come out. Kind of maybe have two prongs. And then we're going to draw the body of our dove. Now that we have our dove, we are going to decorate him and make him look so cute. We can give him... A orange beak. You can give him maybe a fun eyeball. Now you could give him some really funky feathers if you wanted. Maybe some twirly feathers. You could decorate your dove any way you want. But that is a fun way to draw our dove. And to finish it off, you, oh, just press pause. And to finish off our dove, we can write 
something from our Bible story on there. Behold, B E H O L D, the T H E Lamb of God. There we go. And there you have it, your dove. We hope you have a good week. God bless.